Now students, moving on to the laboratory method. In laboratory, how do we prepare hydrogen? By action of dilute acid on zinc. So how do we go about it? The chemicals used for the reactions are granulated zinc, dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid. How do we go about it? Step one that we are following is take a stand, place a flat bottom flask containing zinc granules inside it. So this is a stand for us. We are going to attach a round bottom flask inside which we are adding granulated zinc. Now why granulated zinc is because zinc granules are preferred for this reaction rather than a pure zinc because the impurities present in granulated zinc is copper which has a catalyzing effect and speeds up the rate of reaction for that reason zinc granules are preferred. In the second take or in the second step what do we do? We place two hold a rubber cock attach it to the round bottom flask. Through one of the hole we are going to attach a thistle funnel and through the second hole we are going to attach a delivery tube through a rubber cock. Now we have a tub which is filled with water inside which we are going to have water inside which we are going to add a inverted gas jar which is attached to the beehive shelf. Now insert the other end of the delivery tube to the gas jar. Now since the apparatus setup is done, let us move ahead how to, how to perform the experiment. And this is the delivery tube. Now through the thistle funnel, we are going to pour either dilute HCl, that is hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid through the funnel. Not the nitric acid. Why? Because nitric acid being a very strong oxidizing agent, oxidizes the hydrogen and converts it into water. And we are looking for hydrogen and not for water. That is why we do not make use of nitric acid in the following reaction. Now the tip of the thistle funnel should be dipped in HCl properly. Why? So as to prevent the gas from escaping through the thistle funnel. That is why it is completely immersed in the acid. Now when the reaction takes place a bit between zinc granules and dilute HCl, it leads to formation of hydrogen gas. And these hydrogen gases, they pass through the delivery tube. Reaction will gradually start in the form of effervescence. Now, what do we mean by effervescence? These are rapidly forming bubbles, which are called as effervescence. Now, these effervescence, which are of hydrogen gas, it is collected by the downward displacement of water because it is virtually insoluble in water. What is hydrogen gas? The hydrogen gas that is formed, it is insoluble in water. And if you collect it over uh, air, what happens is it forms an explosive mixture with air. That is why we do not collect it in air. We are collecting it over water and cannot be collected by downward displacement of air. That is why we are collecting it by downward displacement of water. So the reaction that is taking place inside the apparatus is zinc. When it comes in contact with HCl, you get zinc chloride, which is ZnCl2, along with that hydrogen gas. Likewise, if we make use of zinc along with sulfuric acid, that is dilute H2SO4, you get zinc sulfate, that is ZnSO4, along with that there is a release of hydrogen gas. So it's an arrow. Reaction need not be balanced, that is the second reaction. Why? Because it's a self-balanced chemical reaction. Now impurities which are present in hydrogen can be. Now where do these impurities arise from? Granulated zinc being impure on treatment with dilute HCl or dilute sulfuric acid evolves in traces gaseous impurities. What are those gaseous impurities? We'll look at them. Now these impurities may be further removed by passage of the impure gas through the three washer bottles and a U-tube. But first, let us understand those impurities. Those impurities are arsine, which is ASH3. Then you can also have phosphine impurities, that is PH3. We can also have hydrogen sulfide, that is H2SS impurities. It can also be sulfur dioxide, SO2. Can also be carbon dioxide, CO2. Can also be oxides of nitrogen, that is NO, NO2 or N2O and can also be water vapor in the form of impurities.